Hi, in this tutorial we are going to look at creating a spry menu bar and the basics of customizing it. So the first thing we want to do in your Dream, Dreamweaver page and um, I'm just going to use this page here for a sample but wherever you're going to want your menu bar go ahead and put your cursor there and then you want to insert a div tag. Now I have my div tag icon um, under my favorites. You can also find it under your um, your layout bar but um, okay so under favorites I'm going to click insert div tag add insertion point and I'm just going to name it navigation sample okay alright and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put my cursor here and I leave a little bit of text in there because if you take all the text out then your bar shrinks down real small. It's hard to find where to put your cursor in unless you go in the code. So I'm just going to put my uh, cursor there and up at this top insert bar click on your spry and then you want to click on spry menu bar and we're going to choose horizontal for this sample. Click OK okay and there she is um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that text alright you see it pops up there now you'll notice I really don't have enough width for all of these options so what I'm gonna do the first thing I'm gonna do is change my text size let me move this insert bar out of the way here okay to change my text size let's go into if you notice, first of all, on your CSS Styles panel, Dreamweaver has automatically created a style called Spry Menu Bar Horizontal CSS. That is the trick in customizing your menu bar, and you it can do whatever you want. It's pretty much unlimited. We're just going to do a couple basic things in this tutorial. So if I click here on the very first one, UL dot Menu Bar Horizontal. And I want to get to my styles. Font size. What I'm going to do, and this is going to change the overall font size for the whole bar. I'm going to change it from 100% to 12 pixels. So we've dramatically changed the font size, and now there's room for three of these here. Um, just to save time, I'm just going to get rid of this fourth one, and all I'm doing is clicking on this outside bar to highlight it, and clicking delete. And it's gone. So now we have a menu bar with three items, and then there are two item one and item three have drop downs. Okay, this is how you add your item information for the drop downs. On the blue part that says Spry Menu Bar, click one time on that, and then in your properties down here at the bottom, which is the default for it, item one is highlighted. If you go over to text, I can just type in whatever I want. So I'll type in Dream Weaver. Uh, menu. Okay, and then item 1.1 is going to be your first item in the drop down. So I'll type in step 1. Got wrong there. Okay, item 1.2 is going to be your second item below there. So I'll type in step 2. And you can link it right here. Um, you can either type in your link or find it in a folder and then you know when someone clicks on that link that's where it'll take them. So that's the basics for that part of it. A couple other things I wanted to look at was we can actually go in now to the CSS styles and there's a few things that have to be changed and um, we're not going to have time to go through all of these so I'm going to look at some of the main ones here and if you look at the UL dot menu bar horizontal A you can see your background color and your text color let's go ahead and change that let's go ahead and match this green up here and I'm gonna leave the um, text color there but if you look on down and my resolution is so high it's hard for me to see everything on my screen just have to find it. Okay. We're on hover here. So the UL dot menu bar horizontal a hover 
and then there's lots of other. The default is the bright blue. I'm just going to change that. I'm going to go ahead and just change it to green also. The default color for text is white. I'm going to leave that. The one right below it, you have to change that one also. It's the same thing, but um, Internet Explorer 6 reads some code a little bit differently. So Dreamweaver already thought about that and added two CSS styles in here. And you have to change both of them just to make it accessible on Internet Explorer also. And so that's basically it. There's a lot you can do if you wanted to add background images instead of just changing the color. Just like any, in, any other CSS style, you can just go to your little edit style tool down here and take out the color and you can add a background image. And then you can add a background image that changes on the hover. Um, and that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thank you.